Well, more than 13 years after the iconic Concorde made its final flight, a new supersonic jet is on the drawing board. As CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi reports, the boom could be a more affordable high-speed option. Inside a nondescript hangar at Centennial Airport, okay. engineers are creating what they hope will be the airplane of the future. Its name is Boom. I've been passionate about airplanes for a long time. Blake Scholl is Boom's founder and CEO. He's a tech entrepreneur and pilot who always wanted to travel supersonically. And eventually I realized if I want this to happen in my lifetime, I need to start the company to do it. So he did here in this office. We're a small company today. We uh, employ number 12, just accepted his offer. They're designing an aircraft that would fly over twice the speed of sound two and a half times as fast as current airliners. That would cut the flight time from L.A. to Shanghai from 13 hours to just six. Scholl says with advances in technology, the time is right for boom. Today, we've got modern development tools. We've got better engines, better materials. And this lets you build an airplane that on a fuel economy basis is about 30% better than Concorde. Concorde flew for 27 years before it folded in 2003, the victim of economics. A quick flight time today. It cost 20,000 U.S. dollars to go round trip from New York to London. Boom seats will be a quarter that price, or as much as a current business class ticket. Oh, there's an enormous market for that. That's a game changer for people who have to spend a lot of time on the road. This is the outline of the prototype of the plane. It's 50 feet long, or a third the length of the actual plane. They hope to test this baby boom, as they call it, by the end of next year. Using computer higher. software that compresses six months of wind tunnel testing into just half an hour, the boom folks say that goal is realistic. We're very nimble compared to large aerospace companies. We don't have all the layers of bureaucracy that they have, so we can make decisions in the same hour rather than the same week. Scholl says he has orders for 25 $200 million planes already. He says the technical know-how is there. Nothing's impossible. It's just all very hard. This is the flight. Aerospace expert Jose Lopez gives Boom a better than even chance of succeeding. I'm glad companies like Boom Technologies are doing this stuff because we need vision. We need to take risks. Scholl won't say when this 40-seat aircraft, still under wraps, will begin flying. But as with everything connected with this plane, that day could come very quickly. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Englewood, Colorado.